All right, we'll see if this one works, Bullet. So we plug this in. UPS, we plugged in directly from the freezer and here. Now we have the temperature monitor set up here. So it's a minus seven is the top meter. So it's not vibrating, so it's not on. I'm gonna check one thing, pull it. I need to see if this got tripped or if it's running, and we'll know. So we got this little cable out here. We come on over here. We have two big battery pack cars. We set camping mode on. And this is on. And it looks like it got tripped from surge, I guess. So I think it doesn't work. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Take this emergency mount here. Test the uses for firemen. Test another thing come out. Pop this out. Alright, now we have access to battery terminals. This piece, trim piece comes up too. So pop it out. the inverter all hooked up here. We got a kilowatt power meter and a light. We're gonna see what we can do with these. So we've hooked this up here. This is a best tech. It's a thousand watt pure sun power inverter. So let's turn it on. You hear it powering on, that's good. I mean that's getting a feed from the battery right now. Now what we want to do next and you can see it's got the hard to see it but you can probably see maybe if you zoom in the LED readouts on that thing. What we're gonna do is stick a kilowatt on this thing. Let's see how this thing does. Alright, so what we can detect is that it's a 116 volt ish. We're not detecting any watts, there's no load on this yet. So let's go ahead and try plugging in this light and see what happens here. So the light turns on, pulling 13 watts. So this 1000 watt can hold a lot, successfully powering this light. Now let's uh, try amping it up here. So I'm gonna unplug this. All right, let's see if this works. I've hooked up my extension line. It's powering over into the house. And let's see if we can get this to rock and roll. All right, so here's our next test. As you can see, we've got the inverter hooked up with the power extension. You can see we're drawing uh, 70 watts here. I'm gonna adjust the tripod here a second. So you can see we've got 70 watts-ish. And then you can also see it's trying to show the estimated load up here also. Um, show the amperage of the voltage. So it's 120-ish volts and about an amp. And you can see here, 68 watts. It's not showing the projection on that yet. Now, what is this going to, you say? Well, let's follow this line. So we've got a 100-foot line here going inside. Keep in mind, we've got the one battery pet car, two battery pet car. So that way, during a disaster, we've got plenty of a juice. And when we follow this car, or follow this line, it goes to this. This is a five cubic foot Arctic King freezer. And it's a running. You can feel it vibrating. And if you listen close, maybe you can hear the hum. Normally I keep it on a UPS backup. But now if we ever lose power for a substantial amount of time, 
like with a, a disaster event of some sort, like a, I guess a hurricane, what you can tell is that you'll be able to keep it running off of not one, but two battery packs. And it's all with this little handheld pure sign inverter, it's portable, so you can take it with you. Um, I'm using the default terminals for now. I have some uh, additional ones that I picked up, but um, yeah, pretty good. So you can do your estimations here. This thing's estimated for about a thousand watts of pure sign, so you could uh, plug in two different USB devices, which are pretty low voltage, and then uh, whatever else you need. So that's it.